Hi, thank you uh, for coming to my channel. My name is Michael. Uh, today I want to um, take you through one feature of WhatsApp that I think is very important. Um, I know some people know it, others may not know it, um, but today is an opportunity for you to um, see it and if you want, you can apply it to your WhatsApp and I believe it will, it will help you. So without wasting your time, I will want to take you straight to what we are going to do today. Um, so today I will want us to explore this feature in WhatsApp that allows us to mute um, notifications and then also prevent pictures, videos and other stuff from automatically downloading. So by default, if you're in any group uh, in WhatsApp, what happens is if people send pictures, videos, um, um, anything that is posted to the group, that automatically downloads to your, to your phone, unless maybe you have your data off or your Wi-Fi off. <clears throat> if the data is on or the Wi-Fi is on, WhatsApp will automatically download the picture or the image for you. Same thing applies to videos. But today, I will want us to... Um, tackle this and then see how we can fix it or prevent it from downloading so that we can save data uh, bandwidth or um, just to save space on our phone okay so um, to do that to do that first I want us to mute it mute the group so that when people send messages we don't get the notification on our phones um, this this will help you uh, avoid distraction, especially when you're busy doing something. Sometimes you have messages coming in and you get a lot of sound. Um, you also get some pop up on the phone notifying you that there is a new message in the group. It may not be necessary to, to you at that point. Um, sometimes you don't, you don't even want it at all. So you want to uh, mute the, the notification for the group. It's not for WhatsApp, for group, not the entire WhatsApp, that group only. And that is what we are going to do. So uh, I am in a group, a new group. And so to mute it, uh, you go here, uh, the top, on the, on the top far right, you see that three dots there, uh, you click on it. Then it brings, it gives you this uh, drop down. So um, you click on mute notifications and then uh, once you click it, it should. Um, so, okay, I'm sorry. There was a little bit of confusion there because I did it already, and that's why um, it was saying on mute. Again, let me show you. So here it says on mute notification because I have already uh, done it. But let's say it, if this is your first time, this is what you have. So you will see this. That says mute notifications. So click on it, and then when you click on it. It gives you an option for how long do you want to mute the group um, let's say you want to mute it forever so that as long as you're in the group you shouldn't be getting sound or pop-up on your phone telling you that there's a new message or anything of that sort um, so you choose always or maybe you just want to mute it for a few hours you can choose eight hours and then um, you can also choose uh, one one week choose that and then there's this option here that says show notifications um if you leave it like it is right now it's on check if you leave it that way that means that um you will you will not see any notification at all on the phone that is sometimes when you go to whatsapp you see um it tells you you have one message or two message something like that if you leave it like it is right now you will not see anything and uh, when people send you any, um, when people send anything to the group, you will not get a pop up. Um, please let me remind you this settings is not for the WhatsApp itself, it's just for the group. So, whatever setting that you make here will not apply to your entire WhatsApp, it will only apply to the group that you are working uh, on. Okay, um, you can also choose to enable. Um, the notification so if you choose show notifications that means you will not get a sound but you will get the pop-up on the phone so when somebody sends uh, any message to the group you will not hear any sound but you will get 
uh, something telling you that you, you have a message in the group. Uh, maybe you just you just don't want to have anything at all. You don't want any sound. You don't want any uh, pop up or any anything showing you that you have a message. You will want to go there yourself when when you have time or when you think you have to go there. Then you go there and read the messages. You don't need any notification or any prompt. So if you don't want that, you disable it and then you click OK. OK um that would take care of the sound and then the the notification or the prompt okay let's say let's tackle the second part which is um you have pictures or images being sent to the, to the group and uh, it keeps downloading to your phone wasting your bundle or your data so you always so you always have to um turn off your your data otherwise it will be wasted to prevent that, uh, what you do is again the the top uh, here you will see this three dot here. You click on it, and then you go to group info. Okay, so it opens. It gives you this. So um, once you're here, you see it, it, it will tell you here that we have muted the group, and um, we've muted it always. So you have it here. You can you can disable it here too. Or if you want, you can go to the other other place where we were. It's just that that um where, where we were before this screen gives you more option. But you can disable everything um, just using this button here. Okay. So um to prevent the pictures to down from downloading, uh, what we will do is you click uh, media visibility, and by default is yes. That means whatever media, if, if it says media, it's talking about pictures, videos, audios, anything of that sort that comes to the group, it will be downloaded. And um, and it says that show newly downloaded media from this chat in your phone's gallery. So basically, it will download it and put it in your gallery. And you don't want that. Um, so if you don't want that, you don't want it to download it. Or for it to show in your gallery then you will click no so you click no this will prevent whatsapp from downloading the media and put it on your phone this will prevent it so you, so if you if you click this you will no longer see pictures or images on your phone unless you want it then you go there and click and click on it once you click to view it it will download it okay so you click ok that will save that and then there's also um, another thing that we can do. You can go to um, custom notifications. Um, so for the custom notification, you can customize the notifications. Though we've muted the sound and then we also decided not to show any um, any any notification on our on our previous screen. Um, here on this screen it gives you option for you to do more so if you want to customize it that is if you want to set everything yourself not to use the default settings that comes with whatsapp then what you do is you click on this once you click on this you will enable everything here if you uncheck it you disable them um, if you click if you click on it you enable it okay so if you enable it here you can choose to um, choose any tone that you want. Um, so instead of instead of disabling everything like on the first screen, you can you can you can come here and then you select silent. Once you select silent, you again you will not get any sound. So it will it will function the same as what we did before. So you click silent and then um, vibrate. You can also choose uh, off. So the phone will not vibrate. Uh, sometimes some phones um, they have light when they get messages. They um you see the light blinking, telling them that um they have new messages. You want to disable that, so you can go to none or whatever light you want. You can select it here. Okay, so I've selected none, and then you can also prioritize the notification. So it says. Use high priority notifications. Show previews of notifications at the top of the screen. That was what I was talking about. 
um, you can also disable that feature here so if you if you use if you click on this it means when somebody sends you um send anything to that group you are not going to get anything on your screen or on top of your screen telling you that uh, you have something new and you have to um go and view it so that will take care of that okay and then there is also another thing we have uh this is new previously it wasn't there but uh whatsapp has has decided to uh implement this which is very good so um this feature allows you to not to keep all the messages in uh, every message that you get so if you're in a group you open the group you see all the previous messages everything is there if you if you enable this feature um it gives you an option of how long you want you want the message to disappear that means let's say for example i mean this group um we keep getting a lot of messages from people and um you don't want to keep everything because remember if uh, um, i have a video that that talks about how to back up whatsapp messages um so if if you want you can watch that if if you have a lot of messages whatsapp is going to back up everything and that is going to take some of your data and you don't want if you don't want that um you can you can choose to uh let the message disappear after 24 hours so uh, after every 24 hours all the messages will go uh, every message that comes to the group will be taken away and when you go back you will not see anything so after every 24 hours it will go um, depending on what you want you you choose the day uh, by default it's off that means you will continue seeing all the messages in the group but if you don't want that and you want to um you want it for some days or hours then you you make the choice here okay so that is uh, a new feature there and i think it's, it's good or if you have any question please feel free and uh, ask or most importantly if you have anything in mind that you want me to cover for you uh being it uh, security related or anything uh, i will do my best and um, make that video for you uh, please i will i will be very happy if you can comment and like and then also subscribe to my channel and please let me know what you think i should i should do or i should start uh adding to the video so that you will get what you want thank you very much and uh, see you next time